Hello everyone, this is Stephanie with Photography World and today I'm going to show you how to both shoot and edit this magical Christmas image. Alright, so when you get your product, it's just going to be a flattened JPEG of the window. So you'll want to grab that image, drag it into Photoshop. Also, if you haven't shot the image of your child yet, I would suggest putting them in front of a real window, throwing some stickers or some tape on the window and having them interact with that. You know, say, hey, point to the, the sticker of the bunny, or can you grab the blue piece of tape for me? So that way they are pointing to or, or touching, um, looking at least in the direction that the Santa will be in and the sleigh and the moon in the final image. So for us, we put our stickers a little higher than the children. Also, you want to expose for the subject outside of the window, or I'm sorry, the light outside of the window. So if when you take your image, the window is so bright and blown out that all you see is white on the window and you can't make out houses and trees and things that are outside the window, then it's too bright. Your exposure needs to come down until you can see what's going on outside of the window. And when you do that, your subjects will darken as well and it'll look more realistic when you Photoshop them into the final image. Secondly, uh, as far as the exposure goes, is you don't want to put them next to a window that's in full sun. So we picked a cloudy day to do this, um, or it may have actually just been in the evening because the sun comes into the one side of our house during the day. In the afternoon it switches and goes to the opposite side of the house. So one of our one side of our house is always in shade <laughs> and one is always in bright sun which is just perfect <laughs> so um, so you could do that you could just find a window that doesn't have bright sun coming in it or um, pick a, a cloudy day if that's easier but basically you don't want to have that really bright white halo or ring light or rim light around your subject um, so yeah, so shoot next to a real window, throw some stickers up there, and try to look for that softer light if you can find it. Once you get your subject, you're going to want to go ahead and cut them out. I'm not going to cover cutting uh, or a selection or making a selection in this video. I feel like there's so many um, videos of that on YouTube that you can just find something for that. But for me personally, I like to use the pen tool. So I just grab the pen tool and I go all the way around my entire subject with it. And then if I have hair or something I want to refine, I will do so. But, um, but I use the pen tool. You can always Google that or YouTube search that. Okay, so once you have your subject cut out and you position them where you want them to be, we're going to go ahead and come down to the background layer. We're going to add a new layer above it. And then grab a brush. So B for brush, bring the hardness all the way to zero so it's a nice soft round brush. And then we're just going to paint some shadows underneath of them. So if you hold down Alt on your keyboard you can select or sample a color from the background. We're going to choose one of these dark blues from the bench. Change our layer blend mode from normal to multiply. And then we're going to change the opacity of our brush to 10 or 15 percent so that we can paint it on nice and soft and kind of build it up. Okay so with it set to 15 percent we're gonna paint right under his toes nice and big and wide and then we'll get a little smaller and a little bit closer each time just build it up now it is bothering me that his toes are a bit brighter than the rest of the, the area. So I'm going to come up here and just add a quick levels adjustment layer right above the boys. I'm going to clip it to them. So click this box and it'll create a clipping mask. You'll be able to tell because there will be an arrow pointing to the layer below it. And then just drag the mid-tone slider, the one in the middle, up to the right and that'll darken the image. And then come over here to the mask, hit Control i to invert it, and then it'll be all black. So you just take a white brush, so B for brush, we'll switch it to white, and we'll bring the opacity back to 100, and then just go ahead and paint right over the toes to make them a little darker. 
Okay, so now if we go back to our shadows layer, we're just gonna go ahead and paint on a bit more underneath of them. Again, just kind of building it up, making it darker right under his feet and fade out a little bit lighter as we get away from him. And then I'm gonna come over here and do my older son as well. Even though we brought in a lot of the shadows from his image, I am going to paint a little bit more underneath of them just to make it look a bit more natural. Once you get the shadows where you want them to be, if your, your subjects are too bright or too dark, you can also edit them now too. So up here where I have this levels layer, I'm gonna just click on the boys group and create a new levels adjustment layer and it's gonna put it right between those two so it's clipped. If yours isn't, if you don't already have one, you'll just need to clip it. So click this little box so that it is clipped. And then now that you're adjusting just your subjects, you can make them brighter, darker. And this, that's what the midtones will do here in the middle. Or you can drag in the right to make the highlights brighter. Or drag the left to make the shadows darker. So you can play with this and see what kind of mix works with your image. I actually kind of like bringing those highlights in a bit, so I'm going to leave that there. And then minimize that. Okay, now the last thing, and I'll show you on the original image that I took of my kids at the window, there is this um, color cast. Coming from the toy, there's like a yellow or orangey color cast on the window, and red over here from their outfits. And I'm going to add that, or at least try to add that back into this image so it looks like they're really right next to the window. So for that, I'm going to come down here to my background layer, click on that, and then do another adjustment layer. This time we're going to select solid color, and then I'm going to just grab bright red and <laughs> click OK. And then here I'll change the layer blend mode down to soft light I think yeah and then once it's on here you can right click anywhere on this blank space on the layer or I mean double click <laughs> um, and it'll bring up your layer style so down here where it says blend if you can drag this underlying layer the highlight um, icon down to where you where you like it and I just want to leave it off of the white part of the window so I'm going to hold down alt and I'm going to separate this and bring the one down all the way to the end and this is going to feather between these two points so now I can just move the right one to however much I want to see of the window so maybe I don't know 140 or so that looks good I'll click OK now if I go over here to my my mask. I'll hold down Control i to invert it. Then I can grab a brush, set it to white, make it a little bigger, and then you can just... Oh, my opacity is still at 15%, so let's put that back to 100. Okay, and then you can just brush that right on where you want it. I'm going to take it off of that little part there on the bench. Okay, and then um, I'm just going to get it off of the window real quick. It's coming, well, I mean off of the sky. It's outside of the window. So I'll just grab a pen tool, so P for pen. All right, so you're just going to click here in each of the corners of the window. Right click, make selection. Click OK, grab a brush, set to black, 100% opacity, and then just paint it off. Or grab, grab the pen tool again, P for pen, click in each corner, right click, make selection, click OK, grab a black brush, paint it out and then control D to deselect. All right, so now we're gonna make another one that's um, a bit yellow and we'll put it over here. So, eh. 
Um, so here we'll go down, adjustment layer, solid color. Maybe we'll go a bit more orange with it. Click OK. Click on the white mask, hit Control I to invert it. Grab a brush, set to white, 100% opacity. We're gonna paint it right there on the window. And then if you come back to the first layer that we did, I'm gonna right click, copy layer style, go back up to the second, right click, paste layer style. So that that's, you know, soft light is applied plus our blend, layer blend mode is applied as well. So now all you gotta do is grab a pen Come down here and click on each corner of the window. Right click, make selection, click OK. Grab a brush, set to black. Oh, make sure we're on the mask. OK, black brush, just paint it off of that window. And then Control D to deselect. So there you have it, it's all there is to it. And now I hope that helps, you know, answer some questions on how to shoot this image or edit for it um, but if you do have any other questions please send them to me let me know also please share your images i would love to see what you guys are creating we have a facebook group that you guys can join and share your work anyway thank you so much for watching guys take care bye